Hello, everybody. I'm just going to wait for everybody to come on. Today, we're going to talk about abundance and how to be in the vibration of abundance. So, I'm going to share everything that I received from my angels. Hello, Kristen. My twins here. Awesome. <clears throat> We'll just wait for everybody else to come on. Oh, and here's Gwen. Awesome, Kellyanne. Everybody just come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm even wearing as close to green as we can get for abundance. Abundance is important. Not just about, oh, thank you. <laughs> Why, thank you very much. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. Today it's pouring rain here, just coming down like cats and dogs, but it's super mild. We've only had one day of snow and that was on uh, uh, Christmas day, which we never have here. Um, you know, people assume, oh, you live up north, love you. <laughs> um, you live up north, so hey, you're gonna have a ton of snow, but that's not always the case. But I, I always say, don't tell anybody about our location because they're all going to want to move here. <laughs> Hi, Amy. Hi, you guys. So today we're going to talk about abundance. And um, I was channeling with God last night. And he, uh, he was like, come on, Kristen, we've got to sit down and we've got to make some notes. Now, I have received guidance on abundance based from... The Abundance Book by John Rudolph Price. And you guys know I've talked about this before. I'll talk about it till I'm blue in the face. Um, and so I, I've learned from that book, which I feel, well, I know is divinely channeled, right? So you've got, you've got the Abundance Book and you've got um, then God channeling. Oh, why, thank you. <laughs> You should see how much makeup is on my face right now, guys, because <laughs> I haven't been sleeping too good because what's happening in the middle of the night for me right now is I can sense energy around my bed. So I, I pop up and I'm like, <laughs> and then I see stuff like I'm sure a lot of you are. Um, and then it fades and then my angels soothe me and then I go back to sleep and that happens it can happen anywhere from, I would say roughly around four, maybe six times a night. Sometimes I pop awake and I'm looking out the window. Um, so not on the sidewalk closest to my house because that, that would bug me. I'd be like, mm, who's there, you know? Uh, but across the street, I can see um, transparent glowing figures just walking down the street. And, um, and then I, I keep looking, keep looking, and then they fade. So what I am picking up on is that, you know, the veil is thinning. And we're all going to move in the direction of um, seeing through the veil. A lot of us will. I won't say all of us will. But uh, hi, Gloria. I'm so happy you're here. Awesome. Oh, thanks, Gwen. You are so sweet. <laughs> You're going to make me blush, but I've already got blush on. <laughs> so, um, I remember saying yesterday, man, if there was ever a time, I don't do drugs now, but when I did drugs, knowing what I know now is happening with ascension symptoms and the veil thinning and the light anchoring globally and the light anchoring within our, each of our bodies, our light bodies, uh, I wouldn't touch drugs. That's my, uh, that's what I, that's my two cents. Yes, it is better. Um, you're just calm, you're blissful, you're consistently happy, you're just going with the flow, you're not bucking the current and you're not putting toxins that are low vibrational in your body. So. After this video, I am going, oh really? Wow, wow, wow. So I'm not the only one who's seeing things. That's good to know. Um, 
obviously I talk with my divine team. They inform me of this, that, and the other. And, you know, thank God for that because, um, and then that's why I do all these videos because I know those of you who can't hear, those of you who aren't seeing or as sensitive as me right now, remember this, I saw nothing 15 years ago. I had no idea. I had my blinders on. I would be the equivalent of unawake. Um, and so as I've moved along over 15 years, things have really changed a lot. <laughs> A lot, lot. So that's why I do these videos because I want you all to know what's happening because things will come on and you will get such extreme ascension symptoms or you're going to maybe see certain things or you're going to hear certain things um, and I want to be able to be there as a support because I remember over the years I didn't have any support. I, 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 well, what I had was the angels. And um, thank God I had them. But I would always turn to them and ask them questions. And I was like, oh, man. Um, what else was I going to say? So with the anchoring of this light within our light body, I will be placing a video on the group wall after today's abundance video on Ascension Symptoms. It's going to be a bit more blunt, straight to the point. It's going to be a little bit more direct as to what's going on. Um, what else? Hello, Simon. <laughs> and um, I'm going to do that video. And then whenever anyone asks any questions about Ascension symptoms, I'm going to say, go check out the video sections in uh, the group wall, in, in the group. Um, because there's a lot going on right now. And um, there's, from, what, from my experience, I've seen phases. So what am I trying to say? You get a full dose impact for approximately a month. Um, through the many readings I did last summer, the angels just kept telling a lot of people this would happen to them. And so now this is actually starting to happen with others that I'm even friends with and they don't have a clue what's going on and they're thinking, am I losing my mom? My, like I'm so anxiety ridden. So I'm going to do a blunt video on Ascension symptoms after this and post it on the wall. And the other thing I wanted to just bring up briefly before I get going here and get off to the races is tomorrow I'm going to be interviewed by Robin Ringgold. And um, if you'd like to go to her page, um, it is Divine Sunrays and it's on Facebook and the post is on the group wall as to what time I'm going to be interviewed by Robin. She's also going to put this up on her YouTube channel. This is her first uh, spiritual YouTube channel and I'm super, super pumped about being the first person that she's going to interview for this and it's just one it's just the beginning. It's just the beginning for me and it's just the beginning for all of us, okay? So we all are going to go together. Um, so she's going to interview me through Zoom. That's on the group wall. I'll put it back up at the top of the group wall so you can all see it. That's going to happen tomorrow at 5 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. Um, that, <laughs> yay, Robin! Yes! Um, that is all, uh, so that will be uh, 2 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. And what we're aiming to do is interview me in regards to the Archangels, the Angels, and the Ascended Masters. So um, it's going to be me getting interviewed. It's also going to be you guys coming in and asking some questions. And it's also going to be everybody else on this side who wants to come through and chat. Because I, I know they're excited and I know there's anticipation. Okay. So now we're going to talk, we're going to talk about abundance. Abundance can come in all different kinds of ways. It doesn't just come with money, although we focus in on money a lot, don't we? We, we need, let's be honest and be frank. We need money to eat. We need money to clothe ourselves. We need money to live life um, to, to the fullest that we would like. And money is very, it's important. It's a form of abundance. Yes. It's green. <laughs> well, sort of green. It's as green as I'm going to get today. <laughs> Anyways, um, I love green. I love green. My favorite color is blue. And so are my eyes. And I've always loved my blue eyes. 
because it's my favorite color. And what I'm noticing lately, and that's what I'm going to talk in that Ascension video that I'm going to do on the group wall that I'm going to post after this, is how my eyes are changing. Um, they are becoming more light filled. So you guys look in the mirror and look at your eyes. Even around my uh, pupil, uh, it's like green and then blue. And then other times it's just phew, like light coming out of uh, the iris. Okay. So abundance, it can happen in ways that you can't even imagine. We think, oh, I have to go to work in order to earn a paycheck, in order to da 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 and I got my bills, and da 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 that is, that is the old way of thinking. So if you'd like to reprogram this into the new way of thinking, to be in vibration with prosperity and abundance, you will go and you will purchase the abundance book by John Rudolph Price. I would show you this book right now, but I've lent it to a friend. I've done this book three times. To say that it works is an understatement. This has to be reprogrammed because we are brought up a certain way and taught certain things in school that uh, teach us that, you know, we have to go nine to five and, you know, it's just such a story. So like, let's build another story in our mind, shall we? We build another story in our minds so that we can be in vibration with abundance because your thoughts are sent out like signals and your, your higher self will just go ahead and bring you in more of what you're thinking. So if you are worried, uh, concerned, uh, having lack thoughts, uh, the way you feel and what you're thinking is a direct indicator uh, in that moment if you are sensing how you're feeling and the thoughts coming through your head am i in alignment with prosperity and abundance so that takes time to shift to the new story the new story is going to be this there are a few affirmations that god wanted me to say um so here's three of them okay guys so if you have a pen and paper I highly, 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 highly recommend you say these often. They work. I've seen them work. I say them and I watch as money floods into my experience. So this is a seeming reality, a seeming experience in which my higher self is in this body. And I am the manifester of what comes in. And that's everything, including abundance. So if I would like to bring in more and I would like to say abundance, Okay, I'm paying attention to my thoughts. I'm paying attention to how I feel. I'm purchasing the abundance book because you need to work from that book for 40 days. If you miss a day in that 40 days, you go back to the beginning and you do it again. And I've done that 20 days in and it sucked. So get the abundance book to reprogram this because we are brought up a certain way for it to be a certain direction. And I've always said to myself, man, it's such a bunch of hogwash, man. What, we're supposed to go to work and, you know, like, no. I, I've loved being self-employed. I love it. I like the thrill of it. I like the challenge of it. Um, for me, being self-employed is easier than working for somebody else telling me what to do and when I have to go pee or when I have to, like, clock in and clock out. No. I like to, I like to pick and choose my hours and... The beauty of it is I completely trust and have faith. And I say, okay, God, you know, let's bring in some more money or let's, you know, I'm ready for more, 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 more money is coming to me. More money is coming to me. More money is coming to me. And guess what? It does. And it's unlimited. There's no cap or of, of a roof with me being uh, self-employed. Um, I have uh, two ways in which I'm uh, self-employed right now. Although I am very aware that abundance can come in many other directions. These are just two that I focus on daily, but I'm super aware, highly acutely aware that money abundance uh, can come in so many other different ways. And I'm going to list uh, two of those uh, right after I say this. Uh, the two ways in which I am self-employed um, that I know that channels of, of abundance come in are channeling, uh, others may uh, say I tap in with the angels, I tap in with whomever else would like to come in and help whomever would like to come to me for a reading. 
Um, second way is I have had my own cleaning company for 10 years now, maybe 12. And I've upped my rates to the point where they're so high, but I do a good job and that money just keeps flowing in as well. But I know that that's on its way out and I know much more is on its way in. However, I know that abundance can come in so many other ways than just those two ways for me. So here's an affirmation that you guys would like to write down, okay? All of my needs are being met abundantly for me now and always. All of my needs are being met abundantly for me now and always. All of my needs are being met for abundantly for me now and always. All of my needs are being met abundantly for me now and always. And so it is. And so it is. Um, Source is right here with me, guys. Just let me take the lead right now, but Source is going to come in too. Um, and truly, these are the ones that Source brings to my attention when I channeled last night for, this pro, for, for today's um, uh, live session. The second one. There is plenty of money in abundance to go around. Picture abundance, money, like magic. Picture anything is possible, okay? It is magic. It is anything is a pos it, it is that anything is possible. And that might be a tough pill for someone to swallow who is an A-type personality who works hard for a living and they are very logical left brain thinking. But I'm just asking you to put that off to the side ever so slightly for a time and try it God's way. Okay? God's way, the abundant way, the abundance book way by J John Rudolph Price. Obviously, if someone is not happy with the profession that they're in and they are very rigid in their thoughts, is it not time maybe possibly to think outside the box? This is the box, the way everybody's doing things, da, 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 the societal norm. Let's just open the box and step out. I know it's going to be a little scary at first, but trust me, when I tell you, it will be so worth it. There is plenty of money and abundance to go around. That's from God, because it's the truth. Do you think that a whale out in the ocean is worried and concerned about debt? Or even thinking about debt? No. Is a bear out in the woods, in the forest, thinking about what he owes or debt? No. Even, uh, you know, long ago when the Native Americans had free reign of the land where I'm living, you know, they would go by trade, I'm sure, but, you know, they weren't consumed like we are mentally with debt. That is a, a system, that is a... Sorry, I'm, I'm getting passionate about it and I'm like, better hang back. That is a way of keeping control and everybody in check. And it is, <laughs> I, I love that, that post on Facebook where it says, planet Earth, such and such a, a trillion in debt. I wonder what Saturn, you know, or Uranus or Pluto, I wonder what their debt is. It's just such a joke. It really is. So if you can just put that off to the side, I know it's hard because I know you have a lot of shit weighing down on you, a lot of stress, but if you can just put that on hold, I swear to you, for like a month to two months and divert your attention away from it, focus on the abundance book relentlessly, do not miss do it two times if you have to. I've done it three times. That's the equivalent of 120 days of my life. And it is the best thing I ever did for myself. Um, I highly recommend redirecting 
into the new way of thinking. Because anything is possible, it is magical, it is that we can manifest anything and everything we wish and dream and desire. And that is what I hear from Source and the angels all the time. Why would I hear that all the time unless it wasn't the case? Why would I see it in my own life if it wasn't the case? So I'm testing you guys. I'm pushing you guys to push yourselves to go and step outside the box and do things a different way. Here's the last uh, uh, affirmation that I'm going to say, okay, guys? Money comes into my life, into my bank account, Easily and effortlessly now and always. Money comes into my life, into my bank account, easily and effortlessly now and always. And here's the key. When you are saying affirmations and you are manifesting that in, the how isn't up to you. The how is up to your team of angels and God. That's who it is up to. Um, okay, two stories really quick of how abundance came into my life that I was like shell-shocked about. Um, that's when this all kind of really started taking off. I was doing the abundance book. Did I wake up the next morning and all of a sudden a million dollars was dropped on my front door? No. However, many, many things unfolded in my life. If somebody buys me a cup of coffee, that's abundance. If I find a quarter on the ground, that's abundance. If somebody gives me a beautiful pair of earrings like Val, and I'm like so blessed and cherish these because they're my birthstone in January, that's abundance. Abundance comes in, in little ways, big ways, little ways, and every time you notice it and you're thankful and so grateful for it because you truly mean it, um, you just bring in more. That's the beauty of it. So when you see it come in, big or small, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I am so appreciative and, and, and I'm grateful for this abundance in my life. Two ways. I said to Jesus, you know, my car is breaking down. I had a PT Cruiser. What a tank. Those are fun to drive, but they don't turn very good and the mechanics wouldn't even touch me because... <laughs> You'd have to take the whole front end of the car off to get to the uh, to get to the uh, engine to fix it. So I said, you know, I really need a new car. Da, da, da. Heading off to the, my hairdressers. You guys have probably heard this story before, um, some of you. And Jesus said, put your running shoes on, Kristen. I always wore my slippers. And I was like, no, I'm going to wear my slippers. And, no, put your running shoes on. And I said, no, I'm going to wear my slippers. I didn't listen to Jesus. Got in my car, went to the hairdressers, cruising down the road on my way home, and I see a cop van behind me, and I'm like, okay. And as I'm cruising, this woman swerves out, nails me right into the curb with her Subaru. It was like a tank, and my car is a tank, but it, it wasn't going to compete with her Subaru, let me tell you. I nailed into the into the uh, curb so hard she told off my car I couldn't get out of the pass I couldn't get out of the driver's side door the cop asked if I was okay she came up and she's like that was not my fault I can't believe that and I'm thinking to myself I'm in shock a little bit and eh, maybe we can talk about whose fault it was in a few minutes and um, so the cop got all of her information and on the sidewalk as I'm standing there waiting for my friend in my slippers the cop says to me yeah, that was definitely her fault. <laughs> and I said, I know. So anyways, um, you know, move about two weeks, three weeks down the road. I had a check come in the mail. I think it was something like $3,500 um, for this car, which was enough for me to get a nice, decent vehicle that is now what I drive now, which is cheap on gas, and it's good for my cleaning company, etc. Um, so when you ask for help for abundance, be open to it happening in any which way. Did I think that I would be nailed into the curb and get in a car accident? No, that's not a way that I thought abundance wouldn't come in. I can hear Jesus laughing and I wasn't too happy about it, to be honest with you. Uh, however, I was not injured. No one was injured. And when it happened, I knew Jesus was in the passenger side with me. 
And I knew that that was divinely guided. And it was, he says, and it was. Second time, this was about a month or two after uh, doing the abundance book. However, granted, back then the energy was moving much slower. Keep in mind right now, the, the energy is moving at such a fast pace that anything that you're going to actively manifest into your life is going to come in at a much faster pace. Higher vibrational th thinking and thoughts manifest manifest way faster. If you have low vibrational thoughts, they're going to manifest in a slower way. But if you perpetuate the same thought over and over and over and it's low vibrational, I highly suggest that you shift it into something that is in a better feeling place. Because I want you to ask this question when it's reoccurring in your mind. Do I want to actually manifest that into my life? Because if you don't shift it, you will. And that won't be any fun for no one. Second way, right after the abundance book, granted the energy was moving much slower back then, so it manifests a bit slower than it would now. I spoke with my aunt. She lived across the street from uh, a, a person in which um, had a very nice house. Uh, previously in the past, I helped to look after his wife who was not well. Uh, she had some uh, heart surgeries. She passed away. Hadn't spoken to him in a while. She said, why don't you talk to him about looking after his house while it's up for sale? Because he had it up for sale. And then you can live there in the suite above the garage. Because I was looking for a place to live. And I said, what a great idea. So God will actively plant ideas in other people's heads in which you are associating with that's called claircognizance so if if you're not getting the idea in your head then you're someone in your close proximity will and god will get that in there which will be a great idea so then it's up to me to take action so i called him i was like uh uh hi neil i was just wondering if maybe i could you know what do you think about me coming and staying in the suite and looking after the house while it's up for sale and he said like, that's a great idea so I lived in his house for rent-free for 13 months. So it wasn't as if somebody handed me cash, but boy, did that free up cash for me each month. What was that? I don't know. Uh, savings of 900,000 bucks a month, give or take, maybe more. So abundance can come in ways you can't even, don't even begin to try to imagine how it's coming in, okay? Because God will work in ways that you can't even begin to imagine. God knows everything. God is aware of everything. And um, there's nothing we can do or say that will ever, uh, what's the wording? Dis I'm hearing it. Disappoint God, okay? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All is forgiven, okay? So that's really important, I feel, for people to know. Okay, moving on really quick. The second half of this is going to be Q&A. And um, Gwen is going to help me uh, get everybody's uh, name in order. And then anything goes. It's not just going to be on the topic of abundance. It's going to be anything. That you have one question each. And then I'm going to channel in the answer. Each, okay, these are God's words, okay, ready? Each of your needs are, are being met abundantly. Oh, sorry, each of your needs being met abundantly is predominantly because of what occurs in between your two ears, okay? That's God's words, not mine, although I agree. So whatever you are predominantly thinking and feeling is going to be a direct indicator as to what you are attracting into your experience. And that is the same goes with abundance. Money. Uh, abundance can come in many different forms. Money. Um, wonderful high vibrational friends and friendships and abundance of that. You could have, um, you know, someone you know give you half their wardrobe because they don't fit it anymore and it's all brand new clothing. You could have, um, you know, a rental space that is way cheaper than what you see anywhere else and it's just 
wonderful. Always go with your um, internal guidance system if it feels right for you to take action in that. I'm always feeling here because I know that just because this or that comes up doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to take the, the action steps towards it. I'm going to feel, right? What one thinks is what you're going to man manifest. Okay, your higher self doesn't distinguish between, oh, that's not that good and oh, that's, that's great. It's just going to bring in what you're thinking. And that is what God is saying. Thoughts are energy forms and each energy form sends out a signal in which your higher self begins manifesting that which you give thought to predominantly. The key is predominantly. If you just think one thought randomly and then you never think it again, it's not going to stick. But if you keep having the same thinking, oh, I'm worried about paying rent this month. Oh my God, I don't know if I'm going to pay rent. Okay, well, how are we going to turn that around? More money is coming into my experience, into my experience abundantly for me now and always. The how isn't up to me, but I know it's coming in. I trust and have faith that God has my back and I'm going to be guided on the right path in order for this abundance to come forth and or I just sit and receive it. It's all changing this. In order to change one's finances, financial abundance, one must acutely be aware of their thoughts. Giving away low vibrational thoughts. Oh, there's another one on lack. Here you go, angels. Oh, here I am worrying about rent again. Here you go, angels. Okay, um, oh yeah, I gotta get those repairs done in my car, but how am I gonna have enough money? Okay, here's another one, angels. You're constantly giving it away so that they can transmute that into the light, so that it literally the, your worries and cares and fears, the angels are taking away and transmuting into the light so that they don't bog you down anymore. Um, you can manifest, you can um, say affirmations, absolutely, do it, do it, do it. But if you could just hand off those worries and fears at the same time so that you can take the weight off your back, that also works like gold and I'll do that I used to do that in the beginning I was amazed at how many low vibrational thoughts I had in my mind 20 25 in a day and I'll be like bing bing here you go here you go angels here you go angels here you go all day all day all day and then they just weren't showing up as much anymore and then I and I and then one or two would come in I'd be like hey I know what that is hand it off to my angels if you have a problem in your life if you have an issue of any kind ask your angels to help you why because we're in a free will zone here on earth and unless you ask for help they're just sitting there twiddling their thumbs they give me that indicator saying that they'd like you to speak with them and ask them for help. They can work in ways that you can't even imagine. So, so I don't even try. I just know, I like to think of it as magical. I like to think of it as anything is possible because they're omnipresent beings of light and love that can make anything happen. Okay, give away lack thinking and thoughts. That comes directly from God. If one does not follow this guidance, you will simply continue attracting that which you predominantly give thought to most. Okay. God is, uh, I channeled this last night and God's using me as an example. Kristen decided to put all worry, lack thinking on hold. I, I did do that. I said, okay, you guys, pr prove it to me. Prove it to me that you can help me. Um, so it's a two-way street. If I ask God for help and I do the affirmations and I have to do the work too, I can't just sit there and continuously have the same worries in my head if, if God's going to help me and my higher self, God, is going to help me. Because then I'm rowing against the friggin' river stream. Oh yeah, help me God, help me. Um, you know, and I'm going to do the affirmation. I'm going to get in a good feeling place. I'm going to do the abundance book. But I still have the same worrisome thoughts. You're, you're rowing against the stream. So put them on hold. Promise yourself that you will put them on hold for a month, two months. Two months? 
<laughs> God said, <laughs> eternally, I don't want my children to worry ever about anything. That's from God right now. Okay, so Kristen decided to put her worry and lax thinking on hold and repeating, uh, you know, my angels, my higher self uh, are bringing large amounts of abundance into my life and the how isn't up to me. And I knew that because they told me they were doing it. So I trusted and had faith that they were doing it. And then that was it. And I would repeat that, repeat that, repeat that. We're getting near the end now. All abundant thoughts must be said and thought. All of, sorry, all abundant thoughts and affirmations, okay, must be thought or said in present moment. Oh, money's coming to me soon. It's always going to be soon. It's always going to be soon. It's, everything is happening right here in this present moment. It's, it's, it's happening right now. The past is gone. It's, we have it in our memory data bank here, but as far as it actually occurring, it's already gone. The, the future has not occurred yet. So if you have your eye in sight of how you want your future to be, which is with more abundance, then right now is when you're going to change what goes on in your head. And the key is from what God is saying is that whatever thoughts and abundant uh, affirmations that you have, you're going to say them like they're happening right now. And the powers that be, God, your angels, the ascended masters, the archangels will move mountains for you and they will, and your higher self will bring it in right now. Right now is all there ever is, is all there ever is. So please, God is saying, um, thoughts and, um, and abundant thinking affirmations, please say them as if they're happening in the present moment. It's not please soon, can it happen soon, or um, next week. No, it's right now. It's coming in right now. Um, for this, these are God's words, for this is all there truly is. The past is gone. The future has not occurred yet. If one repeats abundance is coming soon, it will always be soon. That's God's words, rather than the present moment, which is right now. Abundance is coming easily and effortlessly into my life now and always. Amen. Now and always. Amen. If you ended everything that you ever said with now and always, amen, it would change things hugely. Okay. So now we're getting into Q&A. So let's do it. So who's up on the Q&A list first, Gwen? Can, can you hear me, Gwen? Okay. We'll go with Kristen. Give me two secs, guys. If we could just slow it, just two secs. I know you all have your questions. Al, oops, my apologies. Alice, you're first. <clears throat> Remember, guys, that if I don't get to your question, I'm going to do my best to come back, and I'm going to answer everybody's question afterwards. So, Alice, if you could please, um, if you could please uh, post your question. And also look on the group wall because I'm going to do another video after this one on Ascension Symptoms. And I feel like it's going to be a little bit more direct and blunt. I don't know if that's me wanting it to be that way. God's laughing. God says to me, you're just being more blunt because you're not happy going through Ascension Symptoms. <laughs> exactly. Okay, I saw a vision last night. It said, you are not from here. Who was that? From Alice. <laughs> Sorry, Alice. I'm, I'm hearing, you aren't from here. <laughs> okay. Um, you aren't from here. This is not your home. And God's saying that. Oh, but your angels are here too. Uh, God's saying in truth, um, 
uh, all of you, this is not your home. Although you've come here many times. <laughs> God says to me, for you, Kristen, this is an old hat. <laughs> um, from what I hear is that I, I did all this, all that we're going through right now, ascending and such on Plea uh, uh, as a Pleiadian. And uh, then I decided to come here and uh, repeat it on earth. Okay, so Alice, uh, so who is saying that to Alice? Uh, God saying I was. Okay, so uh, next person. Gloria, I'm hearing God say to you right directly, God wants me to look at you like this, okay? I want you to know that I love you and I cherish you and you are not alone. Do you hear what I'm saying? You're not alone. I am there with you. I am always there with you. You are my, he's calling you his cherished dear one. Please talk to me and ask me for help. Please talk to me and ask me for help. And please just talk to me. And then your, your angels are saying the same. And they are second, they are coming in secondary with that message. Okay, Lahona, have you posted your question? Oh, oh, there you are. How do I word what I do so people understand? Oh, amen. <laughs> I know, right? And Lahona, like seriously, what you do is even more intricate. <laughs> God's showing you like you're juggling like so many different things, but you're good at them all. And you know you are. Uh, okay. God says you're a channeler, you're a healer. Uh, basically, it's just a matter of listing off everything that you know you can do in order to help those who come to you. And God is saying, you know your divine purpose here on earth is to help raise the vibrational frequency and help heal others. Um, God is coming through and saying, I appreciate the help that you are giving Kristen at this time. I really appreciate it too. You can start off, God is saying, with saying that you're a channeler, but you're also a healer. Try to keep it simple because people tend to overanalyze things. And, and you know what I mean? You know what I mean. Keep it simple. Okay, Caitlin, you're next. You're welcome, Gloria. I can hear God saying, I love you. Edith, um, your husband is here. He's aware of what is transpiring here. He's off to the side and he's observing this session. He's saying he loves you. He loves you so very much. He hasn't left. He's still there with you. Caitlin? Mmm, catalyst, catalyst. Oh my God, are you ever. I agree with that, Lahona. God is like this. Go in with the soft approach first and then be the catalyst that they don't expect. Interesting. Soft approach first, then the catalyst. I haven't been feeling much high vibe. Oh, <laughs> I hear you, Caitlin. Uh, you, you and me seem to have the same symptoms. It's kind of hard to be high vibe when you're having so many uh, ascension symptoms and lack of sleep. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, you're, you're kept awake at night because of the high vibrational energy. <laughs> totally. And that, it, that really could be Jesus. Yep. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Oh, they, no, they haven't gone anywhere. No, no, you're not a you're not at a standstill. I think um, it's ascension symptoms. 
Yeah, rest and relaxation is needed at this time. Um, and so it, um, if you feel them pulling back, it's just to let you rest because we're going through the paces with these ascension symptoms and it's important that we have decompression time. So we take it in, ascension symptoms, and then we need to rest and relax. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Okay, so here we are. Natalie, you little rascal. You're welcome, Lahona. Soft approach. <laughs> okay, Natalie. Natalie, I'm waiting for you. And so is God. And the beauty, I think, is that it doesn't, it doesn't, why do I feel like saying this? I was going to, I was going to say kind of a joke, but I actually feel like I'm channeling this. It doesn't matter how long it takes. God is going to wait for however long it takes for you, Natalie. For however long it takes. Isn't that wild? I don't know if that resonates with you, but I feel like it does. You're welcome, Caitlin. Okay, so Natalie is asking, uh, will things go smoothly with this separation and how will it be also for the entire family unit? God wants you to stay right here in this present moment rather than going and thinking stressful thoughts into the future, okay? And in this present moment, you know that this is the right decision and this is the right action to take and everything else all your worries and fears God wants to take them from you so hand them off to God repeatedly it's not for you to carry this weight on your back hand them off to me please I will wait for eternity for you, Natalie, as I will for each of my children. I will wait for eternity for you. She's scared. What matters most is that you feel that this is the right direction to take and the right action steps in this present moment and that is all that matters. So it's literally like, instead of looking down the path, you're gonna be like watching each of your feet walk below your body. Do not focus into the future or do not allow your mind to go to the fears. Stay right here knowing that God has your back. He won't let you fall. That's what he's saying. Hand off this fear to me. I've got your back. I won't let you fall. And meaning you as in you and the family unit. As in you and your children. There is much yet, much more yet to come. Natalie, there is much more yet to come. You are being guided in order to break free from this, in order for yourself to free yourself, in order for you to break free and then blossom in yourself with the main primary focus when it's ready, down the road, uh, when you're ready is being self-love. And then you will help others do the same. And that is how you will help raise the vibrational frequency here upon the earth plane. This is all a lesson in which your soul signed up for long before you entered this body and this seeming experience. Amen. I've got your back. And I got your back too, Natalie. That was intense. Sorry, guys. 
That's why I've got my candle, so I can just look at it and relax. If you have anything that is, you know, weighing on you whatsoever, you hand it off to your angels repeatedly and you light a candle. The light will bring you back. I am now ready for the next question. Sorry, Amy. Are you able to, okay, what can I do to enhance her? What can Amy do to enhance her spiritual growth? Boy, God's humorous today. Lightening the, I think lightening the mood after, you know, such intensity. Uh, what can you do to uh, uh, further your spiritual growth? God's saying, hand the reins off to me and let's go for a ride. <laughs> Meaning, everything that is set before you, I'm going to put in your path and it will all unfold naturally, easily uh, before you on your path. There really isn't anything for you to specifically do other than keeping this as positive as possible. Letting go and letting God. Asking for help when you need it. Other than this, everything is, uh, you're, you're basically going with the flow. And the flow is ascension symptoms along with ascending. Anchoring of the light within the light body. Your light body being within your body. Oh man. Belinda, we're ready for you. God is saying, Amy, I love you and I cherish you and I'm always here should you wish to speak with me. I hear everything. I hear it all from a high vibrational, loving, non-judgmental plane of existence. Okay, so next person, ready. Belinda, are you the next person? Okay, Gwen's giving me the heart, heart. <laughs> okay, any message for, any message for Belinda? You are an earth angel. You are a light worker. Your soul chose to come forth into this seeming experience in order to raise the vibrational frequency here. You heard the call and you chose to be courageous and come here to help. <laughs> God's laughing. Not many souls want to come to earth. If you'd like to learn by way of contrast with uh, more challenge, you would come. And many do want that, including Kristen's soul. <laughs> wow! <laughs> no, but you know, I agree. I agree with that. I like, I like a bit of a challenge. If things are too easy, and I mean, if they, everything was coming up like puppies and unicorns with roses, I mean, how much fun is that going to be? Well, it would probably be really enjoyable, but if eternity, you know, you want a little bit more. IJ, ready. Okay. Okay, IJ, ready. I say IJ, I should say Iris. Mm, tapping into your energy, Iris. Hmm. I think grounding is needed, Iris. Yeah. <laughs> You're laughing. I want you to go outside, step onto the lawn in your bare feet, Ask Mother Earth to anchor you. Oh. What do you not offer others, Iris? That's me talking. Genuinely, I actually genuinely, truly mean that. You are so light-filled in every spiritual group. You know that, right? I mean, we all have our ups and downs. It's never going to be 
but over time you learn how to stay more level and you, you learn how to stay calm in the eye of the storm. The storm is, ooh, I just got both my ears like that and then I believe I should stop talking now and listen to God. <laughs> Randy, Iris, I love you too. I want you to know that your soul chose to come here to be a bright light and that high vibrational bright light impacts everybody here upon the earth plane just by being here, just by being you. So just focus on that for right now, please. And when it is time, divine timing, the right time, I will be guiding you upon your path. But for right now, please just stay centered in the eye of the storm, grounded, ground yourself 30 times a day, grounding. And then I will guide you when it is time. Shine, just shine brightly as the high vibrational being that you are. Thank you, Kristen. Okay, ready for the next person? Okay, Fabiana, I see your I see it. Fabiana, what are your skills? I'm hearing the word channeler. Also, you just being here on the earth plane is it's, just, it's the same as Iris. You're just you are a high vibrational being of light and love, and that light and love is anchoring globally for everyone here on the earth plane just by being you. However, I would like you to start begin taking action steps in the direction of learning and growing your channeling abilities. First, first step, ask your divine team for help. Second is practicing with a deck of angel cards. You can practice with Kristen or you can practice with <clears throat> someone close to you that you are familiar with just by giving angel card readings. And then as you begin to move along, you will offer free angel card readings on the group wall or whichever um, uh, uh, spiritual group in which you choose. Uh, things will move uh, much faster than I believe you are anticipating at this time. No, God's saying they will move much faster than you are expecting them to. You have an innate ability within you to want to go and help others. So let's go forth in this experience now to build this, the skill set in order. It's actually God's reminding you. It's you remembering what you can already do. It's just that this isn't taught in school. And so you're just remembering that you can use the four clairs in order to help others by way of channeling and being the high vibrational being of light and love that you are. Amen. Uh, Fabiana, I don't know if you remember, I sure do. Sometimes I don't remember everything as I channel, but the last time we did this, two archangels came in to work with you. So um, that was the first time that I've had two archangels come in like that, directly like that. One of the archangels was Gabriel, and the other one was... Starts with an A, and I've never communicated with her before. 
So that right there was a very direct indicator to me that you are on, they, are, they got their eyes on you for a purpose and a reason for right, and it's right now, this go time. So I would talk with them often. Yep, you are on the precipice of hearing. You are on the precipice of channeling. Practice is needed and required at this time. Oh man, you can private message me if you like, Fabiana, um, or we will figure out some way of getting that started. Okay, let's move down, shall we? There we go, it was Ariel. And I had never spoken to that archangel before. I had to look it up after. I was like, look at that. Remember that? And they came right down over my head. And I was like, <laughs> okay, so I'm ready for the next person. You are very, very welcome. And God, God loves you. Okay, Gwen, I'm ready for the next person. Okay. <laughs> Susan. Edith. I just saw your husband waving like this. He's, he's totally watching this right now. He says he loves that you're on this and that you're doing this, that you're on this spiritual path. Okay, so Susan Mori would like to know how can she help her thyroid situation? It will need medical treatment. I'm hearing your guardian angel, Susan. It's, it's, it's you need to, yeah, you definitely need to get some medical treatment. Yep. Yep, right now. Okay, I'm ready for the next question. Susan, I wish I could say, you know, this, that, or the other, but if the angels guide me that you need to go and get medical treatment for that, you, you go and you get it looked at pronto. And if you have another question in regards to that, uh, private message me. Okay, I'm ready. Do, 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 do. Anybody who's coming on right now, highly recommend that you start from the beginning later because there's a lot of info. Should I move to Belgrade, the capital of Serbia, or stay in this town? There's more opportunities in this larger city. And with the work in which you will be doing in your future ahead of you, I would prefer that you relocate to an area in which is uh, where there's more volume of people. I'm getting a thumbs up that I heard that correctly. Um, your work will consist of being more hands-on and through by way of the internet as you already know but there are many in your local area that will be needing you to step up and rise up and step forth this will take courage for you to begin uh, walking this path before you however know that i am here 
right by your side and I will be helping you all the way along. Helping you, guiding you and assisting you. This time is before you down this path. If you would like help or guidance or assistance in this relocation, all you must do is simply ask. Amen. God's now saying that this town that you're in right now, it's, it's too limiting. And it's important for you to uh, take those action steps in the direction in which God has just guided. Okay, so we have Candace, and I'm waiting for Candace's question. While I'm waiting for Candace, I'm going to... Okay, you're welcome. You're very welcome. Candace is next, and while I'm waiting, I'm going to ask God for guidance for Lorraine. He's saying, you are cherished, dear one. Fret not, fret not, for I am, I have your brother here with me, under my fold, under my fold. God has him there with God. There will be healing and resolution for the physical ailments in which are causing you great distress. As I anchor more and more of my energy throughout your body and your light body, this will start to perpetuate, expand, grow, healing. Your body will begin to heal and I will have my hand upon that. I will be the catalyst in this healing. God's saying the days ahead of you, Lorraine, will become easier and higher vibrational bit by bit by bit by bit by bit. Amen. Candace. So you're looking at um, your gifts, Candace. I'm hearing the word um, empath. You're very empathic, which means that you take on, you feel a lot of others' emotions, energy. Follow the steps. Follow the steps that were listed in the beginning of this video in regards to abundance. In truth, there is nothing to worry. There is no need to worry. Um, uh, it's important right now just to be as these ascension, this ascension is going to continue and it's going to be, it, it, it's impacting. It, it, there's a lot of ascension symptoms, so it's just important to rest. Um, and also, just shine brightly as the high vibrational being that you are. And for this time, right now, that is what is most important. And that is, I believe, coming from your guardian angel. But God is here as well. You're welcome, Lorraine. Kellyanne, I'm ready for you. Hi. 
Hi, Bonnie. Um, me and uh, Kellyanne were talking about the Lemurians. And we were talking about Mount Shasta. And, and it's just a, a very exciting time right now. Super exciting. You see all of these high vibrational beings of light and love. All of them are here helping and assisting all of us in ways we can't even imagine right now. <laughs> Kellyanne? You guys got any message for Kellyanne? Your, angel, your angel's going like this. Kellyanne! Like that, high five and then a fist bump. And I'm hearing I love you. Kellyanne, it's go time. As Kristen says, that's a slang term I use. It's go time. It's go time, Kellyanne. And your angel's just super excited about that. And your angel's like, you know what I mean. It's go time. So let's go. Oh, Kellyanne, your uh, angel is just saying boundaries, boundaries. Uh, Candace, let's see if I can get it. You know, Candace, they don't really care what you call them. <laughs> I, I don't, I, I don't want to like, you know, burst anyone's bubbles here, but what they care is that you talk to them. What I'm going to do is, um, if you want, you can private message me after and I'll tap into your angel's name. You're welcome. <laughs> I love that. Okay, I'm ready for Virginia. Each person has, in my experience, from what I've seen, is uh, two guardian angels. One is your male get-going angel, making sure that your soul fulfills its life's purpose. And the second one is your nurturing female angel, who's there to help you when you're having a hard time in life. But the, the female one does so much more than just that. I can feel her always stroking my face if I have a worrisome thought. And then she comes in to, to shift that thought. Um, any, any guidance for Virginia from God or Virginia is your angel again, Virginia, what are you doing to me? <laughs> your angel's laughing. I love you, Virginia. All is well, all is well. Your time is near. Your time is near. Please stay calm in the eye of the storm as you anchor this light into your light body. God's energy and light into your light body. I will, he I will be here to guide you when the time comes. Uh, just know that it is near. Amen. It's the, the, the ascension symptoms will highlight any low vibrational thinking that you have in your head, okay? So if you have anxiety and low or you perpetually think about something, you need to gently shift your attention off of it knowing that it is the ascending that is strengthening that thought. So if you find that you're going mental with anxiety and, and low vibrational thinking, you must hand off those thoughts to your angels and be acutely aware in the moment that the ascension symptoms are and the ascending, the anchoring of the light is perpetuating those thoughts. It won't last forever, but you, it's, a, it's a way in which we really have to pay attention to our thoughts, like acutely so. Um, the more calm and grounded you are, the more you can be just aware of your thoughts more easily and effortlessly. If you're a go, go, go kind of person and you're, maybe you, were, you, you used to be that way in the past, you need to shift gears 
and slow your ride. Awesome. Okay, Linda, I'm ready for your question. This is something here on earth right now with what we're going through. It's, 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 um, what would you say, God? It's, it's, yeah, it's challenging. So you can, you can go on the roller coaster ride up and down, or you can decide to get off the roller coaster ride, be aware of your thoughts, and level out. Those are really the two choices. Okay, Linda? Jansen. I hear I love you. We love you. We love you. They're calling you our earth angel. Our earth angel. Linda, sp continue speaking with us often. We hear you. Uh, and, and everything that you're asking help with, please be patient. We're still working behind the scene of your life in order to bring your requests, your uh, desires into your reality, into your life experience. A little bit more patience, please. We love you. We love you. <laughs> okay, so we're looking for Nina next. Let's rock it, Nina. Oh, no. That's a bugger, eh? You know, Slavika, my suggestion would be just to pop out and then pop back in. And also, I'm going to have it on the group wall here. Pretty too sweet. So we're an hour and 20 minutes. I'm gonna go for another 10 minutes. Um, so if we could have the next question, let's do it. Hi, Cam. Woohoo! and the win. I love it. Watch the replay. So much info directly from God. Okay, so the next question is, <laughs> Nina, God is saying you are my earth angel. I'm very proud of you. Keep up this great work that you are doing. I would like to anchor in closer and help you hand in hand go forward on this path ahead of you and guide you more deliberately should you wish many blessings of many blessings and light and love to you my earth angel God is very, like, super proud of you, Nina. Seriously. That's all I'm getting. I'm just getting a wave of pride and love. Okay. Okay, Robin. Oh, yeah, Robin. <laughs> Get ready for this. This is the path that you are to set forth upon, dear one. This path is the path, the one in which you are now taking. And this path will evolve and grow and blossom in ways you can't even imagine. Thank you. Thank you for God saying thank you for supporting Kristen, but also thank you, Kristen, for supporting Robin and each of those in which you have referred. You are a great light upon this earth plane, and I am so greatly proud of you. This is but the beginning. This is but the beginning. Amen. 
Divine Sun Rays, if you haven't checked out Robin's page on Facebook, go there and like it. And know that she has just started a YouTube channel for spirituality. And we are going to be doing an interview tomorrow at 5 o'clock Eastern Standard Time where Robin will be interviewing me and everybody else uh, in regards to Archangels, Angels, Ascended Masters, and um, anything else on that? No, God is loving that. Loving it. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Everybody is saying error and loading. Okay, well, uh, okay. One more question, and then I'm going to post this right to the group wall. One last question. And uh, remember that after I post this to the group wall, I'm going to do a video on Ascension Symptoms. Um, <laughs> What a good time we're having. Uh, thank you. You are so welcome. You are so, so welcome. I love you guys too. Teresa, you're going to be the last question here. So if you'd like to ask your question, let's do this. All right, Teresa. It's go time. What question do you have? Ready. Ready for your question. So yeah, if you guys have ascension symptoms and you're like, oh my goodness, when is this going to end and what is happening? It's going to be different for each of us. Um, so we're going to get a more broad scope on what is happening and, and how long it's going to last for. Okay, so Teresa. Daspit. Your angels are like, we love you. We cherish you more than you can possibly imagine. The love we have for you is eternal. We are always here with you right by your side should you need us. They are saying that they would like you to please speak with them more often. Please speak with us more often. We can hear your thoughts and the words that you speak and or even what you write down on paper. We cherish you, we honor you, we love you. Amen. Okay, everyone, off I go. I'm about to do the Ascension video so everybody can know what the is going on. And um, also remember that the interview tomorrow is happening at 5 Eastern Standard Time through Zoom. Um, and to go to Robin's uh, page, Divine Sunrays. Love you.